Welcome to a tutorial video on Twine 2.0. In this video I'm going to cover using JavaScript, but in the Harlow story format. So if you're not familiar, in Twine 2.0 there are actually a number of different story formats, and each one handles JavaScript and CSS and HTML in different ways. So to access the story format menu, you access this menu. And then down from editing JavaScript, editing the style sheet, you see change story format. By default, we're using Harlow, but there's also Snowman and Sugarcube. But for this video, we're going to stick with Harlow. Now to prepare for this video, I've actually already put together a passage that shows the different ways we can access JavaScript from within Harlow. To start, I'm going to deal with the passage in the middle. And it starts with using Harlow. So we can access JavaScript's math functionality, like math.round, math.sine.cosine. A lot of these, however, have already been cooked into Twine 2.0, and specifically Twine script. You can call the rounding and cosine and sine functions from JavaScript and all they do is call, or from TwineScript, and all they do is call JavaScript's math functionality themselves. So we can also use many of the built-in functions from JavaScript as well. Console.log works, and to demonstrate, I'll pull it up. So from within Chrome, we access the menu, more tools, and JavaScript console. And then as you can see, the console works. We can even combine it with TwineScript variables. For example, the zero here, is a variable I'll, I'll show you when I go back to the code, but it's what we're using to show this top text here, de demonstrating JavaScript's math.round functionality. However, note this last paragraph. At least as of this recording, there isn't an easy way to call user-defined functions and objects from within Harlow or from some other place within Harlow. You can't write a function, for example, in the edit story JavaScript and then call it from Harlow, at least as of this recording, so that may be fixed in the future. So what does this all look like here? And what is this C JavaScript about on the upper hand corner? Well, let's go back and look at this passage. So to start, it's using assignment and value macros. We're setting rounded num the va variable rounded number to the result of this JavaScript function call to math.round and then feeding it 0 0.4, which would be rounded down to 0. So if rounded number is 0, then we display this text, which we saw when we ran the story. You know, using Harlow, we can access JavaScript's math functionality. Okay, and then of course we saw this right here. We can call other built-in functions from JavaScript, like console.log. And then we see here, to use console.log, we have to include it within some twine script expression. In this case we're using the set value macro to set the variable empty expression to the result of a call to console.log with the string console works. Then as I mentioned before we can use console.log with twine script variables. Let's start with the dollar sign. Then ending here to reiterate again, there isn't an easy way to call user-defined functions and objects. You cannot call functions defined in the edit story JavaScript uh, page. So let me show you what that looks like. So if we pull up the menu again, we can go to edit story JavaScript. Then as you can see, I've already put something together here. So even though we can't call JavaScript directly from TwineScript without going through a lot of hassle, we can, however, run JavaScript uh, at the beginning of any story. So I've set up a little function here, an add element, creates a document element, sets some style, sets the inner HTML, C, JavaScript, and then appends it to the document, document body. And then I'm calling the function that I defined. So in practice, it looks like that. So we can run JavaScript before a story starts in Harlow, but
but there just isn't an easy way using TwineScript to call JavaScript functions from within Harlow using TwineScript. That doesn't stop us, however, from using JavaScript. We just have to be mindful that the most useful functionality from TwineScript dealing with uh, from JavaScript dealing with TwineScript. A lot of scripts going on here. Uh, from JavaScript in TwineScript are things that produce return values. Usually the built-in JavaScript functionality, math.round, things like that. Of course, console logging also works. And so there you have it. A quick overview of using JavaScript and the Harlow story format. Thanks for watching.